Hold up. Do you want to put your important links into one stunning page without touching a single line of code or relying on any other third party platforms like Linktree or Koji? Well, I'm right here to show you exactly that. Whether you want to share your latest projects, your social profiles or shop links, we've got pre-designed templates ready to go. In just minutes by using WordPress, you will have a sleek and professional looking link in bio that captures attention. No tech skills, just results. So. Are you ready to make your link stand out? For that, let's get started. The template we will be using today is offered by W Design Kit. Speaking in terms of figures, it includes over 2000 pre-designed templates and 100 plus pre-built widgets for Elementor, Gutenberg and Bricks, along with a cloud workspace and much more. I highly suggest you to check all these features out by going to wdesignkit.com. Now, let's make sure everything in the WordPress backend is set up for the smooth operations of this project. So, starting off from the WordPress dashboard, let's quickly move to the plugin section and make sure you have installed Elementor. We'll also be needing W Design Kit, so come up here and click on Add New Plugin. Then search for it, and here it is W Design Kit. Simply click on Install Now, then Activate. Moving on to the appearance, you will notice that I'm using Nexter theme. It's one of the lightest Elementor theme out there, perfect for great performance and security. Though it's only my personal recommendation, so you can definitely choose any other theme that fits your needs. Now, in order to use this plugin, we'll need to make an account with W Design Kit. So simply come here and click on W Design Kit. Next, up here in the header section, click on Login. At the bottom here, it's written Don't have an account. Click Sign Up. Here as visible, you can sign up with your socials or here after you fill all the details mentioned, simply click on this button. I already have an account so I'll click sign in and then we'll click on continue with Google. Once you're logged in, you will see this kind of interface in the WordPress backend. It's time to import the template so come to the search bar and type social media. We are going to make use of the Elementor page builder to edit the template so click on the banner picture of this kit. After you do that, you will find yourself inside the kit. Here, you can decide whether you want to import the whole kit consisting of 21 templates or choose the ones you like. On scrolling down, you can see how professional all the design looks. If you are a design lover, it's definitely a treasure trove for you. That too for free. But since we are only interested in the link in bio templates, so let's look for one. Hmm, I like this first one only, so I'll mark it check. Then click on download. Here, it's telling me to download one more plugin that is the plus add-ons for Elementor. So I'll do what it says. Our template is successfully imported. You will find it by moving to pages and here it is, our link in bio template. Now, in order to make changes and feed in our desirable information, we will need to open it inside the Elementor page builder. For that, come here and click on edit with Elementor. Cool. Here we are inside the Elementor editor and as you can see, I am able to select each and every element that of course are widgets used within this link in bio page design. Look how their customization options are getting visible in the side panel. This means I can edit everything whether it's the info box consisting this profile picture, these heading titles or the social icons. But before we make any changes, let me update the responsive mode of this web page to mobile mode as that's the view most of the people would be interested in seeing. Moving ahead, let's quickly make a few edits here to show you how it works. Click on this profile picture, gonna change the default name to say Taylor Swift. Also we'll add a little description about her within here that is American singer, songwriter, forward slash producer. Next we'll scroll down a little and replace this default profile picture. That's it. Now being a pop star, her main business is music. But I can't see any music platform link in here. So let's replace this dribble item box with Spotify. You can simply change the logo by clicking on it. Then tap on this item box. Open icon library. And search for Spotify. Here it is. Simply select it. Then at last click on insert. Done. Next. Don't forget to change this title to my Spotify as well. And it's done. 
After you do that, we need to embed a link to this whole container. So whenever any visitor clicks anywhere on this button layout, he or she gets redirected to her account. So for that, let's first search Taylor Swift Spotify account on the internet. Here it is. Simply click on it. Once the web page gets open, from up here in the URL field, copy this link. Now come back in the Elementor, and here you have to select the container to which you want to embed the link. Then come to the side panel and click on Advanced tab. Then close this layout option and open Plus Extras wrapper link. Next, simply turn on this link toggle button, and here is the link field. Just do Command V over it. It's done. One of our section inside of our layout is now fully clickable, and now the user can easily navigate to her page by clicking on this My Spotify button. Moving on, this LinkedIn too seems a bit out of place for a celebrity, so let's switch it as well to YouTube by following the same steps. And it's done. Now the rest of the settings I'll keep as it is and move to styling. Watching the design, I like the existing one only, but personally, I feel the colors used here could be better. So what I will do is first select the parent container. For all the new guys, it's the one containing all the other containers. We'll open its style tab. Click on background type classic and change it to black. Next, I'll select all these inner containers one by one and change their color to say light pink. Also, this button color needs to be changed as well. So uh, let's match it with the background color that is black only. And it's done. Our LinkedIn bio is ready to go online. It's time to update and have our final look. For your information, to check how the web page looks on mobile, you can either use the responsive view on your desktop by opening Inspect and clicking on this icon. Or if you don't want to do this hassle, just open the link on your smartphone for a quick preview. Very cool. So that's how you can import and edit the template. Everything is fully customizable, giving you complete control to make it your own using the Elementor page builder. So that was it. I hope you really enjoyed the tutorial. Now, if you are curious, just be sure to check this video out that we are recommending somewhere here on the top of the video. Also, if you have any question, leave it in the comment section and do drop a like and subscribe to the channel for more such interesting WordPress tutorials coming ahead. I will see you in the next one. Until then, keep learning and stay creative.